Hi everyone, so in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to crochet this cute cardigan with these little heart pockets. So this cardigan can be made in a number of different sizes and for all of the information on how to make the different sizes please see the description box below. So thank you very much for watching and please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more crochet videos. In your cardigan you want to start off by making a slip knot. So to do a slip knot take your yarn and take your finger and wrap the yarn around your finger once and then twice then take the first loop and pull it over the second loop and then take the second loop and pull it all the way over your finger. You then want to take your crochet hook go in through this space and pull tight. And there you have a slip knot. And now once you have your slip knot, we are now going to make our foundation chain. And we are going to chain 73. So chain 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way up to 73. finished making my foundation chain and now we are on to round one. So to begin round one we are going to do 10 double crochets and we're going to work our first double crochet into the second chain from the hook. So here is the first chain from the hook and here is the second chain and you want to yarn over and go down into this chain, the second chain from the hook yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops and then yarn over and pull through the final two loops on your hook. So there we have one double crochet into that chain and now we are going to do one into the next chain like that and then do one double crochet into the next one and keep going until you have 10. So like that. So there we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 double crochets. And now into the next chain here, we are going to do our first corner. And we are going to be doing lots of corners throughout this cardigan. And whenever we work a corner, we're going to do double crochet, chain one, double crochet all into the same chain or the same space. So you want to yarn over and go down into this next chain here and do double crochet and then chain one and then work a second double crochet back down into the same chain. So there we have done double crochet, chain one, double crochet all into that next chain and we have made our first corner and now we are going to do 14 double crochets or one double crochet into each of the next 14 chains. So yarn over and go down into this next chain here and do one double crochet and then do one into the next chain and then do a third into the next and keep going until you have 14. Okay, so there I have those 14 double crochets. And now into this next chain here, we are going to do another corner. And we're going to do the same thing as we did before. You want to work double crochet, chain one, double crochet all into the next chain for a corner. 
So yarn over and go down into the next chain and do one double crochet, then chain one and then do a second double crochet down into the same chain like that. And now you want to do one double crochet into each of the next 20 chains. So we are doing 20 double crochets. So go down into the next chain and do the first one and then do the second into the next and the third into the next and keep going until you have 20 so there I have worked those 20 double crochets and now into this next chain we are going to do another corner so you just want to do double crochet chain one double crochet all into this next chain like that so there we have another corner and now you want to do 14 more double crochets or one double crochet into each of the next 14 chains Like that so there I have 14 double crochets and now into this next chain here we are going to do our last corner so you want to finish off here by doing double crochet chain one double crochet into this next chain so we do a last corner into that next chain and then you should find that you have 10 chains left we have one two three four five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten chains left and we're just going to do one double crochet into each of these so we're finishing off with ten double crochets have come to the end of round one and we have already started to create the shape of our cardigan and it's kind of hard to see at the moment but this little section here is going to form one half of the front and then this section of 14 double crochets is going to form one of the sleeves and then the long section is going to form the back and then we have another sleeve and then this other small section of 10 where we started is going to form the other half of the front of the cardigan. So there we have finished round one and we're ready to move on to round two. So to begin round two, you want to chain one and turn and this chain one does not count as a stitch. So we're going to start off by working one double crochet into every single stitch until you reach the first chain one space here. So we're going to yarn over and go down into this first stitch here as our chain one did not count as a stitch and do one double crochet and then you want to do one into the next stitch and one into the next and keep going until you reach the first chain one space Okay, so there I have done double crochets up until this chain one space. So I did one into this last stitch here and I have reached the little chain one. And we're going to go down into this chain one space and do a corner. So just as we did last round, we're going to do double crochet, chain one, double crochet, all into the same space here, the chain one space for a corner. So yarn over and go down into the chain one space and work one double crochet, then chain one and work a second double crochet 
down into that same space like that. So there we have worked the first corner of this round into that first chain one space. And now you want to do one double crochet into each stitch until you reach the next chain one here. So yarn over and go into the next stitch here and do a double crochet and then do one into the next stitch and the next and keep doing that double crochets until you reach the next chain one space. So I have worked those double crochets and I have reached the next chain one space here and we are going to go down into this chain one and do the same thing as before. We're going to work double crochet, chain one, double crochet all into this chain one space. So yarn over, go down into the chain one space and work double crochet, chain one, double crochet. So there we have done a corner into that chain one space from last round. And we are just going to continue working this all the way around for round two. So you want to do one double crochet into each stitch along this long section here until you reach the next chain one space. So you'll do one into this double crochet here and then stop when you reach the chain one and then we're going to go down into that chain one space and do a corner and then do one double crochet into the next stitch here and do double crochets all the way along until you reach the last chain one space of the round and go down into that chain one and do another corner. So that will be your last corner of this round and then just do one double crochet into each stitch until you reach the end of the round. So we're doing double crochets, then corner, double crochets, corner, and then double crochets. And you want to keep repeating that all the way around for round two. And remember, whenever we do a corner, we work double crochet, chain one, double crochet, all down into the chain one space. Finished working that all the way around for round two. And this is what you should have. So I worked one double crochet into this last stitch at the end. And now for the next six rounds, so for rounds three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, so six rounds, we are just going to repeat round two, so the round that we just did. So to begin each round, you want to chain one and turn, and that chain one never counts as a stitch. And then you want to do one double crochet into each stitch until you reach your chain one. And then you want to do a corner down into that chain one space. And then you want to do one double crochet into each stitch until you reach the next chain one here. So until you reach the next chain one space and then do a corner into that chain one space there. And then you want to do one double crochet into each stitch until you reach the next chain one and then do a corner down into that chain one space then do one double crochet into each stitch until the last chain one space and do your final corner of the round down into that chain one space and then just do one double crochet into each stitch until the end of the round. So you want to do that all the way around for round three, then four, five, six, seven and eight. So we are doing six repeats of round two. And remember, whenever you do a corner, you want to do double crochet, chain one, double crochet, down into the chain one space. So keep repeating that. So there I have finished working those rounds. So I have two, four, six, eight rounds in total. And this is what you should have. So this is going to form the first half of the front of the cardigan. 
This section is going to form the first sleeve or the first armhole. Then this long section is going to form the back. This is the other sleeve and then this is the other half of the front. So there we have come to the end of round eight and now we can move on to round nine. And the round nine is a really important round as we are going to be adding in the shape of our cardigan. So to begin this round, you want to chain one and turn and this chain one does not count as a stitch. So we are going to start off by doing five double crochets or one double crochet into each of the first five stitches. So yarn over and go down into this first stitch and do one double crochet and then do one into the next stitch and then a third into the next, then a fourth, and then a fifth. So there we have five double crochets. And now into the next stitch here, you want to work two double crochets, both down into this stitch. So go down into this next one and do two double crochets like that. And we are going to repeat that two more times. So you want to do five double crochets. Like that. And then do two double crochets into the next stitch here. So there we have our first repeat and now do that once more. So like that. So there we have that second repeat and that should have taken you to the first chain one space here. So we have done two double crochets into this last stitch and we have reached the first chain one and you want to yarn over and go down into this chain one space and do one double crochet. And then you want to skip all of these next stitches until you get to the next chain one space here. And we are going to go down into this next chain one and do a double crochet. And that is going to form our first sleeve or our first armhole. So yarn over and go down into the next chain one here. So we are skipping all of the stitches between the chain one and work one double crochet like that. And there we have our first little sleeve. And now we're going to do one double crochet into each of the next five stitches. So go down into this next stitch and do one and then a second, then a third, fourth and fifth. So there we have one double crochet into the chain one and then one, two, three, four, five more double crochets. And now we're going to do two double crochets into the next stitch like that. And we're going to keep working that set of stitches until you have six sets in total. So you want to do that five more times. So do five double crochets. Like that. And now do two double crochets into the next stitch. So there we have our first repeat and do that four more times or six times in total. 
So there I have worked that all the way along and that should take you to the next chain one space here. And we're going to do the same thing as we did before. We're going to yarn over and go down into this chain one space and work one double crochet and then stop here and skip all of these stitches up until the next chain one space and yarn over and go down into this next chain one space. So you're skipping all of the stitches between the two spaces and do one double crochet into this next chain one space. And there we have created our next sleeve. And now you just want to continue working five double crochets and then two double crochets into the next stitch until you reach the end. And you should find that you work that three times. So go into the next stitch here and do one double crochet and then a second, third, fourth, and fifth. So we have one into the chain one space and then five double crochets. That one into the chain one doesn't count as one of the five. So we have five and then two into the next stitch like that. And just keep repeating that until you get to the end. I have finished working that for round nine and you can see we have added in the shape of our cardigan. So we have a front, a back and then two armholes or two sleeves. And now we are on to round 10. So for the next 11 rounds of our cardigan, so for the last 11 rounds, we are just going to do rounds of plain double crochet. So for the rest of the length, you just want to do rounds of plain double crochet. So you want to chain one and turn to begin each round and then do one double crochet into each stitch around. And then to begin the next round, chain one and turn and do one double crochet into each stitch around. And then you can just keep repeating that until you have the length that you want. But I did 11 rounds. So I did rounds 10 through to 20. So to begin each round, you want to chain one and turn and this chain one never counts as a stitch and then do one double crochet into the first stitch here and one into the next and the next and just keep working this all the way around and when you get here you are just going straight across so work that all the way around for rounds 10, 11, 12 up to the length that you want and I did 11 rounds in total and then once you have done that this is what you should have so you will have the length of your cardigan finished and now we can move on to making the little pockets here so when you get to the end of your last round fasten off leaving a tail to weave in or work over later and we can move on to our so pocket. To begin the pocket you want to start off by making a slip knot and then chaining 14. So you want to have a slip knot and then chain 14. And now round one of the pocket is just a simple round of single crochet. So we're going to go down into the second chain from the hook and work one single crochet and then do one into the next chain and one into the next and work this all the way along and to do a single crochet you go down into the chain yarn over and pull up a loop and then yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook so just do one single crochet into each chain So like that. So there you should have 13 single crochets. And now we are on to round two. So to begin round two, chain one and turn. And this chain one does not count as a stitch. And we are just going to do one single crochet into each stitch. So go down into this first one here and do a single crochet. 
and then do one into the next stitch and the next and keep repeating this all the way along and you should have 13 in this round as well There we have finished round two and now we are on to round three so chain one and turn to begin this round and we're going to start off by doing six single crochets so go down into the first one and do a single crochet and then one into the next and keep going until you have six there's four and five and then whilst working this sixth one we are going to change colors to the heart color so to the color that you want the heart to be so we're going to go down into this next stitch here to start our sixth single crochet and then yarn over and pull up a loop but you do not want to complete the single crochet so normally we would yarn over and pull through these two loops but you do not want to do that you want to drop the yarn that you were using and take your new yarn place it over the end of your hook and pull it through and there we have finished the single crochet and changed colors at the same time and you do not want to cut the yarn that you were using so do not fasten off you want to leave this yarn attached to the ball and now using our new color we are going to do a single crochet into this next stitch here and when we do that single crochet we are going to change colors back to the yarn that we are using and we also need to work over this old yarn as well so it sounds a bit complicated but it is really easy so you want to go down into the next stitch and you want to make sure that you're working over the yarn that you just dropped there and yarn over and pull up a loop with your new color and then instead of finishing the single crochet with the new color like this you want to drop that yarn and then take the old color so the yarn that you dropped and then that you just worked over pick that back up and pull it through and there we have done a single crochet and changed colors back to our original color at the same time so back to our base color and now you do not want to cut this yarn so you do not want to cut the new color either you want to leave that attached to the ball and then we can pick it back up next round and then to finish off round three you want to do six single crochets using your base color so do one into the next stitch and one into the next and that should take you to the end like that and now we are on to round four so to begin this round you want to chain one and turn and we are going to start off this round by working five single crochets so go down into the first stitch and do one then do a second third fourth and then whilst working the fifth single crochet we are going to change colors back to our heart color so go down into the stitch and pull up a loop but do not complete the single crochet using this base color here drop this yarn and then take your heart color so this should still be attached here to the ball so you want to take this pick it back up and yarn over and pull it through so there we have worked the fifth single crochet and changed colors at the same time and now you want to do three single crochets in this heart color here and when we are doing those three single crochets it's really important that we are working over our base yarn or our base color 
So go into the next stitch here and it's important that you're working over this yarn here that you just dropped and do one single crochet and then do one into the next stitch and I'm still working over this yarn here and then do one into the next stitch, a third one. But whilst working this third single crochet, we are going to change colours back to our base colour or our base yarn. So drop the yarn that you were using and take your base colour which you have been working over and pull it through. And there we have changed colours whilst working that third single crochet. And now to finish off round four, we're going to do five single crochets using the base colour. And before you work this next single crochet, it's really important that this yarn that you just dropped has been pulled round to the back here, so where this other end is. And that way all of your colour changes will be on the same side and you will have a neat side and then a messy side. So do one single crochet into the next and the next and keep doing that until you have five and that will take you to the end. So like that. And now we can move on to the next round. So we are now on to round five and to begin this round, chain one and turn. And we are going to start off by working four single crochets and then we are going to change colours whilst working the fourth one. So do one, two, three and then whilst working the fourth single crochet we are going to drop that yarn and then pick up our heart colour here so it's still attached to the ball there pick it up, yarn over and pull it through like that. And now you want to work five single crochets using this heart colour and make sure that you are working over your base yarn or your base colour whilst you do that. So take the yarn that you just dropped and make sure you are working over it whilst working these five single crochets. So there we have four and then I'm going to work a fifth one and drop the yarn that I was using and pick up the base colour that I was working over and pull it through. So you want to change colours back to the base colour whilst working the fifth single crochet and make sure when you drop that yarn that it goes back round to the wrong side here where the other end is coming out. And I'll finish off this round with four single crochets. So like that. So there we have finished round five, almost. There we have finished round five and make sure that your ends, your sides here are straight and you can do that by kind of pulling it out if it's becoming bunched in the middle. And now we can move on to round six. So to begin this round, chain one and turn. And you want to work three single crochets and change colours to the heart colour whilst working the third one. So like that. And now in the middle we are going to do seven single crochets using the heart colour and make sure that you are working over the base colour whilst you do that. So 
So there I have six. And then whilst working the seventh one, we're going to drop the yarn that we were using for the heart colour and then work a colour change back to the base colour and make sure that this yarn has been pulled through to the wrong side and then finish off round six with three last single crochets like that. And now we're on to round seven. So we are now on to round seven of our pocket. And to begin this round, you want to chain one and turn. And we are going to do two single crochets, changing colors on that second one. So there we have one single crochet, and then work a second one and change colors at the same time, like that. And now you want to do nine single crochets using the heart color and work over the base color at the same time. So do one into the next stitch and make sure that you're working over the base yarn and then do one into the next and the next. So there I have eight and then we're going to do nine and change colours back to the base yarn at the same time and before you change colours make sure that you pull that yarn tight and then finish off with two single crochets like that. So there we have finished round seven and now we are on to round eight. And for round eight, we're going to do the exact same thing as we just did for round seven. You want to chain one and turn and do two single crochets, changing colors to the heart color whilst working the second one. And then you want to do nine single crochets using the heart color whilst working over the base color. So do nine in the middle So there's eight, pull this yarn tight and change colors whilst working the ninth one and make sure that this heart color is pulled back to the back here to the wrong side and then finish off by doing two single crochets at the end like that. And now we can move on to round nine. So we are now on to round nine of our pocket and to begin this round, chain one and turn and we are going to do two single crochets and change colors whilst working the second one. Like that. And now we are going to do four single crochets and change colors back to our base color whilst working the fourth one. So go down into the next stitch and do one and make sure that you're working over this end and then do a second, third, and then whilst working the fourth one, drop the heart color and pick up the base color and pull it through. So there we have done four single crochets, changing colors whilst working the fourth one. And now we are going to do one single crochet in the middle here with our base color. So go down into the next stitch and make sure that you are working over your heart color here. So work over the heart color and work a single crochet. And we're going to change colors at the same time as working this one single crochet. So drop that base color and then pick the heart color back up and pull it through. 
So there we have done one single crochet in the middle there, working over the heart colour. And now you want to do four more single crochets in this heart colour, working over the base colour. And I'm going to pull the base colour tight and then change colours back to the base whilst working that fourth single crochet and then finish off with two last single crochets at the end. So there we have finished that round and you can see we are getting our heart shape and now we are on to the next round which is the final round of our heart. So we are now on to round 10 which is the final round of our heart and you want to start off by chaining one and turning and we are going to do three single crochets in this base colour changing to the heart colour whilst working the third one. So there's two and then there's three and I'm going to change colours at the same time and now we are going to do two single crochets changing colours whilst working the second one and make sure you're working over that yarn like that and now we are going to do three single crochets in the middle so do one, two and I'm working over my heart colour here and then whilst working the third one pull it tight and change colours back to the heart colour whilst working the third single crochet and then to finish off do two single crochets in the heart colour changing back to the base colour whilst working the second one and then pull this yarn through to the back and finish off with three single crochets and we have done our heart like that. So this is what our heart looks like on the front. And now we're going to finish off by doing two last rounds of plain single crochet. So chain one and turn and do one single crochet into each stitch along using the base colour. So like that and there should be 13 single crochets in that round and then you want to chain one and turn and do the same thing back along and you can fasten off the heart colour now so we have completely finished our heart and you can see we have a wrong side and a right side. So do one more round of plain single crochet. worked that all the way along so I have come to the end of round 12 and we have finished our first pocket. So now when you get to the end of that round you want to fasten off and when you fasten off you need to make sure that you leave a long tail or a long end as you can use this to sew our pocket to the cardigan. So leave a nice long tail end and fasten off like that. And there we have finished our first little pocket and now you want to make a second one in the exact same way. So go back in the video or the written pattern and follow all of those steps again to make a second pocket. And then once you have done that, the last thing that you want to do is weave those ends into the inside or the back of the pocket square here. So weave these ends into the back so you can see this is the wrong side with the colour changes. And then you want to sew them to the cardigan. So this is where I have sewn mine. I've sewn them down the bottom in the centre. And I have one, two, three, four, five stitches on the edge here. And then one, two, three, four, five stitches on this side. And I sewed them two rounds from the bottom. So they are sewn two rounds from the bottom and then five stitches on either side and then what I did was I took a yarn needle and I thread that long end through a yarn needle and then I placed 
the pocket exactly where I wanted it to be and if you wanted you could pin this and then I just went down into the cardigan then up into the next stitch then down into the cardigan and the next stitch all the way down with that yarn needle and that long end and then I went along the bottom here and the bottom is easier because you actually have the foundation chains and then I went all the way back up and then when I got to the top I did an extra stitch in that um, corner stitch there and then I fastened off I just pulled my yarn out and my needle and then I weaved that end nice and securely into the inside and then I did the same thing for the pocket on the other side so I'll just quickly show you on the back here you would take a yarn needle and thread that end through the needle lay the pocket exactly where you want it and try to go across a nice straight line and then you will go down into the stitch where you want it to start so go down and through and then you want to come up so come up through the next stitch like that and pull it through so come up and pull it through and then go down through the next and try to make sure you're going down and across straight and do that all the way around and then once you have sewn both your pockets to your cardigan you want to make sure that you have weaved all of your ends nice and securely into the inside and then to finish mine off I did a single crochet border just up these two edges here so I attached my yarn into the bottom and did single crochets evenly up the side and I actually used a smaller crochet hook so I used a 4mm hook for my cardigan and then I used a 3.5mm hook for the border and I went all the way up to the edge and fastened off when I got to the top and then I did the exact same thing on the opposite side I started at the top and went down and then I attached two buttons on one side and then I made button loops opposite those buttons so to do that you just attach your yarn into the stitch make a chain long enough to go around the button and then slip stitch into the next stitch and I did that for both the buttons and there we have finished our cardigan so that is it for this video I hope you enjoyed it and found it easy to follow please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more crochet videos and in the description box below this video, I will leave a link to where you can find the written pattern for this cardigan. And I will also leave links in the description box to where you can find my Instagram and Twitter accounts. So I always like to post updates and pictures on there, especially Instagram. And I would love to see photos of your crochet work on there as well. And thank you again for watching. Bye.